Seven new cases of COVID-19 were announced by the Ministry of Health, pushing uh, Uganda's tally to 686. These were out of the 2,532 samples tested from the border points, uh, health workers and the community say. Three of the confirmed cases are truck drivers who arrived via Mutukula and Busia border points of entry, while the other four are alerts and contacts to previously confirmed cases. Joining us to take a look at this is Sarah Brio Mumaisho, who is the managing editor and Daria International magazine. Good afternoon, Sarah. Good afternoon, America. What's the level of <laughs> compliance uh, with the regulations and rules that the government have put in, uh, has put in place in Uganda? Yeah, most people have actually responded positively. When you sit in a taxi, everyone at least has a mask. And then uh, the taxi is supposed to carry at least half their capacity. And the taxi drivers are adhering to all this. Except this morning, just a few people, around 32 people were arrested downtown Kampala for not wearing masks. And other people were in the market. They were selling clothing. This, this is a sector that has not yet been opened. So a few people were found selling clothing, some were found selling stuff in their cars without maintaining social distancing and they were arrested. But at least 90% of Ugandans are adhering to the guidelines of the Ministry of Health. Right. Now, uh, we know that some of the cases uh, were as a result of interstate border travels, uh, especially Busia. Yes. Uh, what, what's, what are the um, stringent measures put, especially in Busia County, to be sure that there is no infiltration between Busia and into Kampala, as it were? Yeah, currently only Ugandans are allowed to enter the country. And these are Ugandan truck drivers, not just the normal Ugandans. So if you're not Ugandan and you test positive at the border point of entry, you're not allowed to enter the country. But also foreigners who test negative are allowed to enter. But Unless you're a truck driver, you're not allowed to enter the country. Right. I mean, most people... So will... currently, even with, with, the, with the economy opening up, the districts that are, that are in the border areas, people are still not allowed to move. They are not allowed to come to Kampala. Mm -hmm. Um, you would agree, as most of us know, that um, uh, COVID-19 has affected the economy you know, globally. Uh, different countries are struggling. And for Uganda, that borders both Tanzania and Kenya, there's a lot of business activities between uh, th those uh, three countries. How has this lockdown impacted on the economy of Uganda? Yeah. Um, Currently, the, the exports are actually being transported because the borders are open only for cargo, whether it's at the airport or the inland borders, they are all open, but only for cargo. So that's why when the, the pressure was on that the borders should all be open for everyone to pass, the president said, we can only open them for cargo. And then at some point, people wanted the borders closed even for cargo because it's the truck drivers that were bringing in the virus into the country. Right. But the president said a lot of the merchandise used in Uganda comes from Tanzania, comes from Kenya. And then Ugandans also have the merchandise that they have to sell to these countries. So they had to sit as the president in the region and reach an agreement to make sure that the, that the business continued, even when the movement of persons is not allowed, but the cargo is still moving. So I, I would say we will struggle economically, but in the region, I believe you're doing, doing well. Sarah Birmomi Maisho, thank you so very much for joining us. Sarah is the editor of Andaria International Magazine. Do stay safe out there, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you for having me, America. Right. And stay safe.